What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to do, I'm just troubleshooting uh, something going on with my Zabbix server today. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how to resolve it. So, well, yesterday I received this alert. Well, actually looks like I received it about a week ago, uh, but I'm just now getting around to addressing it. And it's saying that I have more than 75% used in the configuration cache. So I need to figure out kind of what to do about that. And I did find forum post about it that says there's a, there's something that you can configure in the server.com file to, to clear this alert. So just so we can see what we're working with here, configuration cache, look at the trigger. All right. Uh, so it looks like, oh, it even says that in here, considering increasing cache size in the Zavix. Okay. All right, it looks like it has to be for 10 minutes. If it's over 10 minutes, it'll set the trigger off. Okay, so let's SSH into my Zabbix server and see if we can edit that configuration file. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and SSH into the Zabbix server. All right, so now that we're in the Zabbix server, we're gonna to go to my configuration file. Sudo nano, etc, Zabbix, Zabbix server conf. We're gonna do sudo nano. And then I'm going to search for cache size because that's what the trigger said that it was called. Okay, so it looks like we got it there. Uh, well, that doesn't look like what they showed. All right, here we go. All right, so it looks like this one down here is the one we need where it just says cache size by itself, not the VMware cache size. So let's take a look and see what we need to change here. After I scroll down, it looks like, it looks like this is commented out. It must be a default value. Um, what the forum post recommended is that we multiply this by four and then save the configuration file and restart our Zabbix server. So let's do that now. Four, I'll have to use my calculator real quick. I think it's, let's see, 28. All right. Cache size 128. And then we're gonna do control X and then save modify buffer. We're gonna type Y in order to save that. All right, now that we're saved, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reboot our server. So while that's rebooting, hopefully that fixed it and we don't have to deal with that anymore. So let's give it a second to come up. Okay. All right, looks like that alert is cleared. Let's just take a look at the, the Zabbix host and make sure that that number has gone down. All right, so let's go in our Zabbix server, latest data. Configuration cache, okay, looks like we're good here. Percentage used, and we're at 18%, which would make sense. Okay, and we can see here that we're right above that line for the trigger. And as soon as we made that change and rebooted, it dropped to below 20%. So I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I think the configuration cache is just what you use, like the amount of hosts that you have. And um, I'm assuming some kind of cache for that. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, but that looked to take care of the issue. And I'm going to go ahead and link the forum post that I use to kind of put me on the right path in the description. So if you want to use that, uh, you're more than welcome to. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.